Hi Libras, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your November 2017 Finance and Romance Reading. I'm going to start out with the Mary Queen of Angels deck by Adoring Virtue and I'm going to ask Spirit for a word of prayer please for those born under the sun sign, moon sign and or rising sign of Libra. Word of prayer that we can close with at the end of the read. Thank you Spirit. Now I'm not going to look at that card right now, but what I am going to do is I'm going to do a circle spread and do a finance and career reading. Dear Lord Spirit Guides and Angels, Teenagers, I'm going to do a circle spread with the Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason, and I'll be combining it with the Psychic Tarot Oracle Deck by John Holland for further clarification as we go through each step of the circle spread before us. <sighs> Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the Sun sign, Moon sign, and or Rising sign of Libra with clearly defined messages regarding Libra's... Uh, Finance and career energies now on and through November 2017. Thank you. Okay, beautiful. So the card representing your current life path, starting out in November, is the Ace of Cups. So Spirit's saying, ask and we shall fill your cup with whatever blessing you want. Is it love? Is it a happy family? Connect with spirit knowing that they are blessing you with this new path in love at this time. Now again, this is the Sacred Circle Tarot and I'm combining it with the Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the Sun sign, Moon sign, and or Rising sign of Libra with clearly defined messages regarding their finance and career energies now and through November 2017. Thank you. So at this time, there appears to be a very strong desire when it comes to filling this cup of love. Or you guys are feeling more spiritual because you can feel your cup becoming fulfilled. Now in your mental aspects position we have the crown chakra. So spirit is trying to connect with you when it comes to maybe an air sign or someone who has air in their chart. Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, because this is general. It could also be that Spirit's saying there's something within you that needs to change. Put away any swords of harsh words and or anger. Know that you are God's child and listen to Spirit as Spirit is trying to fill your cup of love. Or a grand opportunity for finances and career. Sorry. All right, so in your relationship sector, and I'm speaking of a relationship with business, Spirit saying some sort of desire to manifest a new path, being the Lord of your path, could be owning your own business. Or finding yourself in a leadership position. Going after what completely fulfills you when it comes to finances. In your creative inspirations position, some of you are going to have to sacrifice something. Therefore, there is much thought. Lay down your sword when it comes to this message and contemplate this offer, this idea, this blessing. In your actions position, Spirit saying, choose wisely as you step into a new path. This is a new world path. Something can come to a close with these energies. You can step into a new direction. 
but make sure you know which direction is the one that spirit is trying to guide you towards because we make human decisions and end up on other paths inadvertently. So choose wisely when you think about what will fill your cup. Now in your emotional aspects position, Spirit's saying that some of you may feel abandoned or that you're abandoning a situation, you're deciding to move on and it's emotional. So I'm really feeling like somebody is leaving a company behind and going towards something much more fulfilling. And you guys are in control of your path, even though it may feel difficult. Think of creative ways to turn fears into excitement when it comes to deciding which path is the right one for you. Don't fear the abandonment of some place you've been connected to for a period of time because the time has come to move on. The end of the path has come. The lesson was learned by you rather early, actually. And now in your subconscious, you're over the edge. Before it was carrying around pain and anguish and frustration and harsh words. But subconsciously, you know that the rewards are coming because you're taking control of your path. In your practical matters position, day to day, prosperity is beginning for you guys and look at you shine like the sun. Beautiful. It's like you're shining and as you shine, something is growing and it's becoming very prosperous and it's pouring right down into your cup as you're sacrificing, thinking of creative ways to sacrifice something and choose wisely in a new direction, what it is you need to leave behind. Because there is reward there. And I think some of you guys know it, whatever this is pertaining to finance and career wise. Now in your inner strengths position, you guys have the energies of the light card, meaning that you will see the light. You will, and you have the ability in your inner strengths at this time to pay attention to what fulfills you. And what happens when we find what fulfills our soul? We acknowledge a gift. And the gift is your inner strength, and your inner strength is a skill that you have. So take what it is that you can do with your skills and your talents and choose wisely how you want spirit to fill that cup for you. There will be reward. I love that. And getting up over the edge in your subconscious. You guys are already somehow aware of that. I don't know if you're just feeling that or what. Now in the first week and a half to two weeks, from watching this video, there is disillusion. Enough is enough. I learned my lesson. I understand what that path was meant to teach me. Therefore, I'm going to grab the golden sword and I am going to get to the truth of what fulfills me, what I learned, and how I'm going to apply that moving forward. As you guys take your time to manifest something, to connect with someone, to observe a situation, to listen to your intuition over and over again before making any decision, there's some sort of passion ignited along this journey. Who and what are you going to become dedicated to? Now, we cannot ignore this picture. So I don't know if this is an office celebration. A connection of sorts that may involve a third business partner or person, however that applies when it comes to career and finance. In the next two to three weeks, oh boy, we've got discord and people. It's like you're getting recognition for that discord because something came in quickly in an accelerated way. 
and how they did that caused some sort of opposition or will in November. So this is you getting to the truth of the situation in the first two to three weeks and cutting yourself in, off of the way or out of the way or claiming victory over the way things were in the past so you can step into a new path being offered to the universe. And it's a difficult path when you have the swords because there's truth, because we have to let people go. But what's awesome is the universe card. It taught you something. It allowed for you to climb to a higher level spiritually so that now you can give birth to something very beautiful in your path. You have the energies of fertility to manifest financially. Some of you, I feel like a third party situation could happen in November and some of you could get pregnant or the truth of a pregnancy comes up. So in the outcome position, we have in the next four to six weeks trying to decide if you are having delusion over what could be a spiritual union. You know, this is learning something. This is realizing, oh my gosh, yes, there are seven beautiful cups, but those darn cups are empty. It may be time to walk away. But learn what that experience taught you financially or even in a relationship energy. It's about balance. And as you move forward, only allow balance to take place in your path. We have control over deciding what it is we want to manifest. Balance with the karmic wheel brings happiness. All right. Okay, so I cleaned up that deck. Let's move into um, love and romance because I am feeling very pulled to that. I don't feel so much change going on for you guys financially other than, yeah. I keep seeing fertility. So other than maybe starting a small business of your own on the side or doing something creative, maybe thinking about marriage and having kids. All right. Yep. <laughs> I just got the lover's card. So I am going to go ahead and start with the romance reading. So let's see. For those time stampers, thank you. Romance is 13 minutes. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Libra with clearly defined messages regarding their love and romance energies now and on into the month of November 2017. Thank you. All right. So, well, for some of you, not all of you, because I can only pull so many energies... Your health is improving because of a lover's connection. And you guys are recovering from a situation that either you thought was a soulmate connection and or you got over something with someone and you're coming back together and there is great harmony. In your thoughts, position, spirits telling some of you, not all of you, if you want a personal reading, just email me here. They're telling you to wait a minute before hop skipping and jumping in that chariot and heading off in a new direction. Mm. Some of you may be recovering from a lover's connection and it is actually helping to improve your health. In your foundation, spirit saying that the situation is set to improve. So find yourself a way to be content at this time. Because they're saying that there's discontent. It's the four of cups. I just feel like emotionally 
Some of you can focus more on finances or you can think about a creative project that you could do with your kids or friends or whoever, get together and just kind of do something fun that you can manifest like pottery and make something for your home or whatever it is, knowing that the situation will improve in its own time. In the recent past, we had perfect timing. So you guys used your imagination to be clear with someone else. You guys spoke your truth. And that's why I think there's some sort of recovery and now there's harmony. Maybe love is picked back up and that's why your health is improving. And Spirit's saying, wait, hold on. Don't just start stepping in a new direction. Maybe, you know, there's just some discontentment right now and the situation is set to improve. In the next two to three weeks, Spirit's saying, it's up to you to spread your wings and fly Libras because it'll be time to look at a love offer and realize how small it is. Maybe it's not even new anymore. And a lot of these cups, if they came in a message, if they came in just a small way with not such a strong foundation, we have to look at ourselves at some point and decide if we're going to stay in this direction and hope for something that's small and will not grow, or should we spread our wings and fly? In the next four to six weeks, Spirit's saying it's time to forgive. Okay, because if you want to move forward, if you want to fly, you have to let go of the dark negative energies of forgiveness in your path. Oops. In the next four to six weeks, you guys have control over watching something crumble, over deciding if something should end. I think it's going to end anyway for whatever reason. Maybe it's just the time of the path or because you guys came became discontent. Spirit's telling you that there are and will be helpful people and angels around you as you sacrifice part of something that was important to you. As you looked at your reflection and the cup in your hand and contemplated whether or not that's what you truly wanted to put into motion. Now, in your hopes and fears position, you're hoping for a peaceful resolution with someone maybe from your past, with someone by which maybe there are a lot of memories, but now the cups are empty. In your outcome position, communicate clearly. As again, you are recovering. You, there's a choice to make eventually because you're at the end of a path. It's just time to look at, should I give it another chance or should I not? Figure out what it is you need to say in hopes that the answers will bring you clarity about laying down a path and starting over. The card representing the entire reading is within, a next, within, within the next few weeks, my goodness. A new path may open up. And it may be scary because you're not quite sure where that leads you towards. But the moon represents hope. And without hope, it would be dark. So have hope that there will be clarity within the next few weeks. Spirit's message is no. You've spent three of your four swords in battle. Stop and wait before moving in any direction when it comes to how you're going to use that final sword. Listen to your intuition when it comes to materialism. How important is some sort of materialism to you? 
if you know you have advanced, I'm hearing this uh, financially, especially, and you're coming to the end of a path, know that it is time, Spirit's confirming, to initiate something brand new. Now this could, I'm feeling in finances and in love. So look for a sign about what you've learned up to this point and how you want to move forward and trust that you guys can illuminate whatever it is at this time. Take the steps. And for some of you, if you believe, you will achieve stability. One way or the other, I feel like you guys are going to find a stable opportunity in finances or just readjust somehow in finances. I should put it that way. And in love, you're, some of you are contemplating letting someone go who maybe at one point fulfilled you, but you're finding more than once that you're, there's like recovery and forgiveness and recovery and forgiveness. And it's like, how much more are you going to still sit in nostalgia or has it become empty? All right. So let's look at uh, spiritual guidance with the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed. Wait, something is going to fall apart for somebody. Wait, rest. Think about your future. If you're discontent, make that sacrifice. Reflect on what fulfills you. Recover before moving forward. Thank you. Okay. That was still the uh, Sacred Circle Tarot. Now I'm going to move into uh, spiritual guidance, please, for Libras with the Wisdom of the House of Night deck. And I think I'm going to combine this with the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Libra, male or female, because this is a general reading. Spiritual guidance for the month of November 2017. So the card representing you guys right now. They're trying to tell you it is a time of letting go. This could be finances. This could be a stuck relationship. This could be letting go of a part of yourself that was afraid somehow. It could be what, however it applies in your path, okay? For whoever's energies I am pulling. It might be that through accelerated motion, you guys let go and go away or someone comes in quickly and you decide to let go. I feel like some of you are going to leave quickly. Now the card crossing those is the wisdom card. Ooh, somebody's been doing some thinking, Libras. Going out into your grove, out in the trees to find your little couch with your kitty cat and your blanket and really thinking about your life story. How far you've come, what you've learned, what you know now when it comes to letting go. In your thoughts position, there's a strong desire for something. There's even a strong feeling in your gut about something. But for some reason, you're in denial. In your foundation, you guys were once very obedient to your personal rules and regulations, your boundaries, and somehow you ended up with a blindfold on and your balance is off. So it's time to become obedient once again to who you are and what you want in your foundation. Even though there are memories of love, those memories will always be there. Work through them and take off the blindfold. 
put them in your box and always have them, but take off your blindfold. In the recent past, you had the energies of material harvest that you were reaping what it is that you had sown. And a lot of you, because of that, received great fulfillment. But now there's a lot of wisdom and thinking and then quick happening and letting go as you take off the blindfold and you take the memories with you. But some of you follow your gut. Hmm. In the next two to three weeks, there is positive movement forward in some sort of maybe creative business or project or idea as you apply yourself to achieving some sort of goals, following something in your gut. In the next four to six weeks, you're receiving the fertility card. This is becoming pregnant. This is becoming engaged. This is manifesting and or giving birth to something new and beautiful in your path. Could be a small business. And having hope that through this family, through these children, through this life, you can let go of unfulfillment in the past. But we have fulfillment here. You guys, I think some of you are feeling like you are manifesting something great, but you're letting go of some things to be clear about yourself, about exactly how you want your life to be now, not how it was when you grew up. For whoever that was for. Spirit is uh, providing you with the messages of standing your ground in November when it comes to love. Um, also stand your ground in a very loving way. Don't deny yourself what it is that you want and need, but move forward it forward toward it and apply your individuality. Become obedient to your goals and know that you can always take these memories of love with you, but they don't need to be a big part of your life. Hopes and fears. Spirit is speaking to you guys at this time and they're telling you that you are only seeing a fragment of a situation. A small piece of a very big puzzle. And in your outcome position, taking steps in a direction, wondering what it is that path would be like. Wondering if there are secrets hidden from you, things you don't know. And Spirit's saying yes with the Fragment card. So choose wisely when it comes to your path at this time. The card representing the entire reading is the base chakra. So some of you are being led by Spirit to handle that strong sexual desire that we all end up having from time to time because you have the reminder card with you and the don't forget tombstone telling you not to forget something similar from the past take an oath to yourself take off the blindfold let the memories go or there will be chaos. In the outcome position, spirit wants to tell, or not outcome, spirit's words regarding this spread is that they understand that you want to enter this doorway, but there is a wall there, a cement wall for a reason. They're protecting you from going in the wrong path. They want to bring you partnerships and alliances. They want you to sacrifice that which you've been thinking about and to instead 
focus on your individuality, what it is you want to move forward with in your own individual path. This is not so much about being loyal to others as it is about being loyal to yourself and your own strong foundation. And here you guys are. And whose ever situation applies. Should I move on? These two cards are coming up together. And that horse is running alone. The man is standing alone. And they're moving because they understand what balance is. It's equal give and take. And they come, you guys, some of you, whoever this is, is going to be shown clarity from spirit. They're going to bring you understanding where you're all of a sudden going to see very clearly what it is you want in your path and what it is you don't. Perfect timing. So with the summon card and the awareness, oh, that's a lot of control. You guys will come to an awareness with the magician energies to begin to manifest and you're going to know exactly what it is you want to manifest and you're going to be summoning it into your path. But I think a lot of you right now don't even know what this means, where it is you're going, but you will by the end of November. It's a time to get honest with yourself about a shadow side or maybe even honest with yourself about someone else's shadow side. There's a waiting game here for somebody. Remember, it may be, they may be. Very beautiful on the outside, but what's important is what's on the inside. If some of you are connecting with someone through a very passionate, lustful way, if you're running into obstacles and challenges, there's a reason for that. Spirit's protecting you from that direction. So have patience because you've got the assistance of the High Priestess of Air who's going to help to cut those people, places, situations, and environments that don't serve your direction out of your path, even if you don't have the strength to do it yourself. And what will all of this bring you? Great confidence, victory, and success. You will have great strength to deal with your emotions when you've come through some sort of test here. And I'm feeling it in love. I feel financially, you guys, it's almost like it's not really so much of a concern. You've got that under control. You may be contemplating letting go of a place and stepping into a newer, bigger, more bountiful circumstance or situation. And you have the energies to do so. So let me know if that applies. To close your reading, I'm going to pull uh, the Mary, the prayer card that we had pulled earlier in the reading and Spirit saying that you are being watched over at this time. I allow myself to feel safe and to enjoy my life knowing that heaven is watching over my loved ones and me. Beautiful. And to close, I'm going to read from the book. This card brings a message of reassurance of your safety and asks you to drop any defenses or guards that may currently be preventing you from enjoying your life. By relaxing into God's protective arms, you reduce your stress level in healthy ways. God, Jesus, Mother Mary, and the angels have heard and answered your prayers for protection. You receive their answers via your repetitive feelings and thoughts which guide you along the pathway of safety. Keep your mind sober and open so that you can clearly pick up on these divine messages and be sure to take action to exactly where they lead you. So, like a lot of others, it's a time of observing. It's time to make sure you're content in your own path with what it is that you're doing, with what it is you're achieving, with what the goals you're setting, focusing on what fulfills you within, and observing a little bit longer. We've got November and December left in uh this number one year okay and this is going to go on for the next nine years then what we decide so at some point some of you may come to a crunch point where you're actually realizing the lesson within from the last nine years and are getting honest with yourselves and deciding to allow things to fall away things or people 
You're getting very strong in your path and you are being protected from spirit. They're forbidding a particular path from happening for you because they are trying to protect you. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope to see you guys mid-November, maybe early December. Welcome again to those who are new. If you'd like a personal reading, there's my email address and the prices are listed in the box below. Take care and God bless.